Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Honcho, back at you again with another video. Before we get into this one, I gotta give a shout out to Young S the Source God for bringing this one up because I didn't even realise that this was a thing to be honest and he would go on to comment on my most recent video and say, Yo bro, apparently they're making a BBC3 documentary about Digga D called Defending Digga D about his lawyer. I seen it on a few articles, wanted to know your thoughts. And yes, if you didn't realise by the title of the video, and that comment, BBC are in fact making a documentary about Diggity. So let's go over the synopsis of the documentary and then I'll share my thoughts on it with you guys. So it reads, 20 year old Diggity is one of the biggest up and coming drill artists in the UK. He's on the brink of stardom with his singles getting millions of views online, but he's also been jailed for violent disorder. This film follows him as he's released from a 15 month stint in prison at a pivotal moment in his life. He's intent on making a success of his music career but that's not straightforward. Diggity is one of the first musicians in British history to be given a police criminal behaviour order controlling his creative output. It means he's not allowed to release any music or videos without telling the police. If the music breaches the terms of his CBO, for example, inciting or encouraging violence, they can take it down and arrest him. The police say they target drill because it promotes and causes violence, but the genre's supporters call this censorship and they say that the art simply reflects real life. Digger's situation and his ongoing story embodies this dilemma. His next moves could redefine his life and his music forever. A year after his social media account stopped, a year after his last music video, his last post and his last tweet, Digger is coming back. This film tells the story of how he manages that and who is helping him. His lawyer Cecilia has been defending him for years. She's doing all she can to enable him to make music despite his restrictions, and his management team is determined that he achieves success, supporting him every step of the way. He came out of incarceration into a world where he feels like he is watched constantly and subject to strict license conditions. He could be recalled to prison for breaching them at any time, but even this isn't going to stop him. He needs to release music and follow up on the success of his hit tune No Diet, with his music so rigorously policed, can he do that and secure his future? Digger has everything to fight for, and everything to lose. And yes, that's very true, Diggity does have everything to fight for, and trust me when I say this, he definitely has a lot to lose. But in regards to the documentary, it's definitely going to be a good watch, and I'm hoping that we'll find a little bit more out about what's going on with his situation, and why he got recalled to jail that time, and what the hell happened when he got arrested that second time. The documentary also seems to be following his lawyer as well, so it'll be interesting to see from her perspective everything that's going on with Digger at the minute. And again, I am hoping there'll be some kind of segment where where she clears everything up because there has been a massive question mark as to what exactly happened and what exact license conditions he breached that time he got arrested. Either way though, this is a big look for Digger D because a TV documentary on BBC is always going to be a big hit and low-key it's extra promotion for himself. So from the synopsis, they're talking about him getting released from jail and following his journey. We of course know if you keep up with the scene that he's been releasing music. Obviously not that many songs but the songs that he's put out so far in my opinion they've all been hit but at least from the synopsis you can see now why he goes under this new digger brand rather than old digger because i know there's always that conversation with oh do you prefer old digger or do you prefer new digger of course everybody would want old digger to come back but again certain license conditions and stuff like that prevents him from doing so and again this documentary will go over everything like that and hopefully you guys will get a clearer image of everything that's gone on right now if you guys want me to review this episode episode like I did with the Young Diz one way back about this time last year where we watch it and then I give my thoughts on it and we'll keep break it down like that let me know if you guys want to see that because I would definitely do that let me know if you want me to do that down in the comment section below because it is out next Tuesday the 24th of November 2020 so it isn't going to be too long until it gets released but yeah give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the UK be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell Spinny Boy Pancho and I'm out.